hello guys welcome back so this is the last video tutorial for this video chat app series which we are developing which we are developing using android studio with firebase so in this video we are going to complete this app so first of all we are going to add a ringtone first okay that is whenever the user make a call so we have to let the sender of a call and receiver of a call know about that is something is going on that is basically to play that uh, ringing tone during the calling so for that uh, i will provide this file by the name ringing okay it is basically an mp3 file you can just download it from the resources okay and then copy it and then come here to the android studio and first of all here you can see this res directory right click on it click new and then directory create a directory by the name raw and inside that raw just paste that file which is by the name ringing.mp3 here you can see it and if i show you basically one more thing if you can play it then you will be able to see that this is basically an mp3 file hope you can hear the ringtone okay so this is the ringtone file uh, that we will be using if you want you can use your own mp3 ringtone file i mean any music file you can just place here inside this rab folder by the name and rename that file by the name ringing okay once you do that the next step is to come here and come back to the calling activity on our calling activity let's create an instance of the media player give it name media player and then in here on our on create we can say media player equals to media player dot create first parameter you need is the context which is this and the second one is the file location so our file is inside r dot uh, the folder name which is r a w dot the file name and the file name is basically ringing and make sure to put a semicolon here now once the when we say on the on start okay once the information is saved okay which is basically to we are storing the ringing and calling information for the sender and receiver then after the inside the if condition we can say media player dot start and then it will start playing that ringing tone or that music okay and the next thing is to make it stop if the user click on the cancel call button which is this one okay so first of all we can do that and can say media player dot stop and also if the user click on the accept button by the way we have not worked on that portion yet and we will be working on that uh, just in a few seconds so we have to stop that here if a user click on the cancel button and now the important thing first is to add the fbi key session id and token so You can just click on that and here you can see now it opened uh, just in one second so once you open that make sure to use the opera browser for that or any other one and this is not the promotion for any browser this is just why what i suggest to you guys okay opera is a good browser so anyways uh, once you do that the next thing is to click here on this sign up and here all you're going to need it and as i told you it is free of use okay they will give you ten dollar for free so you can use it for small usage but if you have millions or thousands of users then you have to uh, i mean take the membership for long time usage i mean if you have millions of users otherwise it is free for small uses just like firebase so here all you're going to need is just to provide your information i'm going to write my own name muhammad ali and then your valid email address where they will send you a verification email so i write my email and then company name so let's say i'm going to write student because most of the guys who are watching this course will be students okay and then the password i'm going to give some password to it okay and then click this i agree and then click on this redeem your 10 credit so they will give you uh, an extra ten dollars for free usage here you can see that's a industry 
we are going to say that we are using it for technology education where it is not technology let's say I mean this education and then job title student I am no, I am a developer and what platform are you building for we are building it for the Android and then click next now after that all you gonna need is just to go to your Gmail account so here you can see you will receive these uh, emails from the talk box I mean which is the confirmation okay and if I show you this is my original valid email okay now what I'm going to do is I can just click on this talk box confirmation uh, email which they sent me okay in order to verify my account so you can just click on verify your account and yeah you can close the other tabs and just wait for this one which is when we click on the verify uh, my account okay here you can see click here to login so let's just log in now our uh, account successfully validated and welcome to the open talk web rtc platform so let's just enter now our email and then here you can enter your password and then let's just click login so here you can see it is loading I mean the page is loaded successfully to get started give your account a name so by the way we have gave it a name student and yeah name my account and then go to account and yeah you are now ready to use this FBI for free okay so first of all uh, here you will see uh, this uh, I mean our name which is student student is the admin of this account okay now I mean we give it a name student and then here we have this create project just click on this create project okay and then we are using this web RTC here you can see this one open talk API just click on this create custom project and add a project name so our project name is uh, let's give it name as video chat video chat and here we will select this VP at okay VP at and then click create and yeah that's it now just click on this view project so you will see this kind of screen first of all let me tell you if you want uh, I mean let's say if you log out uh, from here okay and if you want to login again I already told you guys the login okay just go to Google and search for open talk and go to login and login into your account and when you come here if you want to use the same project for any of our other project let's say if you want to get any other chat application then here you is your first project which is by the name project okay and here you can see this is our first open talk project which is video chat for using this open talk API okay for video chatting so this is our project and if you want to create other uh, project then you can also create another one just by clicking here on your project name which is video chat and click on this create new project but anyways we have already created our this video chat just click just click here and then video chat and it will redirect you to this page okay here you can see it now first of all here you can see we have this uh, project api key just you can copy this okay when you copy it go to the end of studio and make sure to paste that here this is our api key the next thing is the session id so you need to just scroll a little bit here we will have one thing which is this one create session id under this uh, window which is saying project tool so click on this create session id and it will took some seconds here you can see session id has been created so just copy this and come back to the android studio and paste that here sorry okay so this is our session id and the important the next important thing is to yeah create a token so this is our session id make sure to copy that okay the same uh, session id that we passed here here you can see it okay starting from one here you can see it and then copy this uh, paste that id here paste a session id here paste this session id here here you can see it now our role is a publisher okay and then uh, expiration time make the session 
I mean this expiration time up to 30 days which once you select this uh, timing from here then you can just click on this generate token here you can see our token has been created so you can just copy it and then pass that token here so that's it okay now the next important thing is to go back to your calling activity and let's work on the accept call button so we have our button by the name accept call button we have already cost cast that button here so let's just set a click listener on it accept call button dot set on click listener new on click listener and then in here what we gonna do so the receiver will basically click on the accept call button now in order for the sender i mean the person who made his call i mean we will automatically send that person to the video chat activity and for that we have to uh, add something to the firebase real-time database so for that we can say uh, final let's get a hash map and it will be of string comma object type and let's give it name as a calling pickup map equals to new hash map and we just want to add one thing which is calling mac dot put and that will be basically a condition that will check the pick status check the pick status okay so anyways we can give it the same name which is picked which means that now we are storing this uh, we will store this under the user node so that we can know that if the receiver has already picked the call or not if the receiver picked the call then we on the basis of this condition we will automatically send the user uh, the sender the sender i mean the sender the person who makes a call we will send that person automatically to the video chat activity so anyways uh, you can say user reference dot child sender user id dot child ringing dot update children and pass the calling pick up map to it dot add on complete listener new on complete listener make sure to put a semicolon here and if the task is successful then in that case we are going to send the user the receiver basically this is the receiver code okay receiver to the activity which is our uh, video chat activity calling activity dot this video chat activity dot class that's it and let's start activity for the intent now let's uh, automatically send the uh, sender also to the video chat activity once this button is clicked okay so we have to check for this and this uh, child which we store at this address in the database so come here to the on start method and here we have when we uh, inside the on start method when we say uh, we are basically visible uh, we make this accept button visible okay i mean the code which we just write here here we need to add a condition if condition and we can check now make sure that this is at value event listener yes okay which will check continuously for any child if there is any update okay and we have to pass the receiver i mean we are checking for the receiver user id if this has a child by the name ringing and if th sorry this will be the child and if this ringing child contain a sub child we can say has child which is by the name picked so if it contain a child picked then what we gonna do in that case we are going to send the sender also to the activity which is our video chat activity so just paste that here so yeah that's it and now the important thing is yeah our ringing tone so if the user uh, if the receiver click on the accept call button first of all if the task is uh, completed then okay so let's just add that here if the task is completed we have to make sure that the media player is stop 
media player stop and also for the on the receiver side i mean this is on the receiver side okay which is the receiver will basically click on the accept call button and on the sender side uh, we have to write here that is media player dot stop so that's it now let's just test the application before uh, testing the application one thing is we forgot to call our request permissions function method here come back to the video chat activity and inside the on create whenever the view is created we want to call our function which is by the name request permissions so now one more thing is to go back to the calling activity and here in our own start when we say that inside this if condition when we say media player dot start just remove this from here and pass that here okay above this and once you do that then connect your real android phone and then run the application on it i'm going to run the application on two phones two android phones so that we can test the video chat features so here you can see the application is running now on both of these phones and on this device i am logged in as Muhammad ali here you can see it on on the second phone i am logged in as john parker now let's just uh, call Muhammad ali so i just click on the Muhammad ali here you can see it and you can hopefully you can hear the ringing tone on both the phones and now let's just click on the accept button so once you click on the accept button here you can see it will ask for the permission hey this app needs mic and camera so once you allow the permission let's just allow it click ok allow allow okay and also for the second phone okay allow allow and once you do that it will now uh, start uh, i mean make establish the video stream between the two users so here you can see the chat is connected okay so one of my phone camera i have connected uh, i mean uh, i just pointed out toward my laptop here you can see okay on the first uh, mobile phone and on the, and on the other phone i am pointing uh, my camera toward the uh, my pc okay on which i am recording this video here you can see it also so i'm pointing toward my telephone here you can see it okay and if i move the second one camera and here you can see it so yeah in this way i mean this whole system work hopefully you can also hear my audio on these phones okay so yeah you can test the application also by yourself and now if you want i mean you can just uh, click on this cancel button in order to cancel the chat so i'm going to cancel it and here you can see it the chat has been cancelled so yeah, that's it uh, for this series. We have completed this series. This is the last video tutorial and hopefully you have enjoyed this course and you have learned something new uh, from this course. So if, we, if you have learned something new from this course, then please uh, give us positive reviews. And yeah, uh, goodbye, for, goodbye for now. And soon we will start another great uh, course uh, in which you will be developing the Android applications. So yeah, see you guys next time in the next course.